hi guys welcome back to phil's kitchen so today i'm going to show you an amazing recipe and it's all about french baguettes i really love baguettes because i like serving them with soup or my favorite chai but you can go ahead and serve with anything you want so they are very very crusty and chewy on the outside and very soft on the inside the good thing I like about making baguettes is that it requires only four ingredients, guys. Four ingredients. So without saying more, let's get started. So we'll start by adding three cups of all-purpose flour into a bowl. To that, we'll add one tablespoon of yeast, two teaspoons of salt, and mix that well. Next, we will add warm water. So I'm using two cups of warm water and then we're going to give this a good knead until it forms a very nice sticky dough. Once you are done mixing, we are going to cover the dough and keep it in a warm place, let it rise for one and a half hours. So I had another dough rising earlier and here it is. So this has risen for one hour, not even one and a half hours. So we're going to add flour on top and then you're going to transfer all the dough to a flat surface. Make sure your surface has more extra flour because this process needs a lot of kneading. So we're transferring all the dough from the bowl to the flat surface. Make sure your surface has more and more flour because at this point the dough is too sticky. So we're going to just add more flour and then start kneading. Remember all we need is just a soft and smooth dough. So I'm just adding more flour and we're going to knead this for a good 10 minutes. As you can see I'm trying to just fold it in. And roll it out whichever technique you're using make sure your dough is not too much sticky you can use a stand mixer which will speed up the process but I'm just using my hand so the dough is ready and we're going to cut it into six equal pieces Once done, take each piece and roll into small, small balls. So now it's time to shape the baguettes. So take each dough piece, try to pull the edges of the dough into the center. Then after that, we are going to roll it until we get a very nice long baguette shape. This process is not easy, it just requires patience and time. So you're going to repeat the process for all the remaining dough pieces until you're all done. Once done, line them on a tray that is floured. Make sure there is a space between them so that they don't come into contact when they are rising. So we are going to proof this for another 45 minutes. Just cover and set them in a warm place. After 45 minutes, they have doubled in size. You can see mines have touched each other. This means that I used a very small tray so there was no space but anyway, after baking they still came out great. So I'm making small slits on top of each baguette. This is going to give them like a nice nice shape and then I've sprinkled a little bit of flour. After that I'm going to bake this in the oven for a good 20 minutes until they are done and nicely crispy and browned. And that's it guys, there you have it, freshly baked baguettes. So 
So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment and share. And also you can find me on Instagram on Phil's underscore kitchen or on Facebook at Phil's Kitchen. So till my next video, bye.